Arunachal Pradesh, with its numerous turbulent streams, roaring rivers, deep gorges, lofty mountains, snow-clad shining peaks, hundreds and thousands of species of flora and fauna, its endless variation of scenic beauty, are the first to get sunrise in the country. It's here at the height of 10,000 feet above sea level, Tawang Monastery stands on the spur of a hill, offering a picturesque view of the Chuangchu Valley. The Tawang Monastery is the fountainhead of the spiritual life of the Gelugpa followers of the Monthas. The spur on which the monastery is situated has ravines in the south and the west. The position is strategically strong, as it is difficult, nay impossible, to approach from the south and the west. The approach to the monastery is from the north, along the reach. The most imposing building of the monastery is the assembly hall known as Dukhang. It is three-storied, stands on the northern side. The lamas of the monastery assemble in this building for its regular function. The entrance to the temple is by a wide vestibule, the walls of which are decorated with colored murals. The murals on the entrance wall have a guardian deity, the wheel of life, illustrating the six realms in which man can be reborn, is painted on the eastern wall of the vestibule. And among those on the western wall is the Buddhist universe. The upper gallery of the first floor is supported by 32 pillars. The four other pillars, higher than the rest, go up to support the ceiling of the first floor. There are three kubis in the center of the hall suspended from the ceiling of the first floor. A kubir is a long cylinder made of cloths of different colors and with the upper and lower ends open. There are rows of seats placed between the pillars at some distance. The seating is according to seniority. The higher the rank of a lama, the nearer to the altar he sits. So the junior most is nearest to the doorway. The walls of the hall are adorned with murals of divinities, saints, and episodes from their mythology in bright colors. The front is covered with silk curtains and white ceremonial scarves. The ceiling is painted with nine magic circles of many divinities and arranged in three rows. The upper sides of the inner walls are brightly painted 
with murals of divinities and saints. Among the murals of the southern wall, the ninth mural is of some local significance. It is that of Ning Mei Chang, who according to the old religion is a guardian deity of Tawang area. There are images of Tsong Kapa and crowned Buddha, attended by his two chief disciples. Next to it is a chest high seat, which was set up in 1959 for the use of the Dalai Lama. In the monastery chamber, about 55 feet by 18 feet, there are images in standing posture of eight divinities collectively called Niue Shek Chingye. These are all fearsome deities who are regarded as the defender of the Buddhist doctrine against the demons and other enemies. These hideous images here, as well as such images at other places of the monastery, have been put not to be seen by the laity. A colossal, richly gilded Buddha occupies the middle of the northern side. It is sealed on a platform and its body rising up terminates in a huge head above the first floor. It is the largest image of the monastery and is about 26 feet high. The paintings and the illustrations of different deities are made in a style which is known as Sankha. Sankha paintings are made according to the religious guidelines. For making of these paintings, an artist has to follow the guidelines framed by the monastic books. The faces, drawing and even the coloring of paintings are done according to the religious prescribed books. An artist uses the natural dyes. Sankha paintings are important in Buddhist religion as it not only preserves the tradition, but also gives guidelines to monks to follow the religious ceremonies. The religious functionaries, monks, as well as the village priests, are known as lamas. The monks are members of the Tawang Monastery. Their life revolves around the activities of the monastery. There is no fixed age at which the lama-elect has to go 
to live in the monastery. It may be any time between the 5th and 12th year. The parents engage a senior lama of the monastery as tutor. The parents get the boy's head shaved, dress him in the monk's outfit, and take him to the tutor. They offer the tutor a ceremonial scarf and a fee in cash or kind, according to their capacity. The novice draws the monthly alarms of 13 braids of cereal from the storeroom. If the inmates cannot manage with his monthly alarms, they have to get the additional from their parents. Each residential building is occupied by a guru and his disciples. The guru teaches the disciple in the dormitory. When several disciples complete the first course, an auspicious day is selected to promote them to the next class, which is called Getsu. The course on religious texts and mode of rituals is called Nagali. The abbot reads out from religious texts and then the disciple turns into a fully ordained monk. A monk observes the 253 disciplinary rules detailed in the Buddhist canon and becomes eligible to conduct the rituals independently. हम लोग चार बजे उठते हैं उठने के बाद उन लोग को हम लोग पूजा में भेजते हैं पूजा भेजने के बाद पूजा जो है छह बजे तक चलते हैं मॉर्निंग में छह बजे के बाद और सात बजे बीच में एक घंटे के लिए ब्रेक होते हैं तो उसी ब्रेक में जो है ब्रेकफास्ट वगैरह करते हैं करने के बाद सात बजे उन लोग को जो शिष्य है उसको स्कूल में भेजते हैं बारह बजे उसको स्कूल खत्म हो जाते हैं तो पुनः अपने शिष्य गुरु के नीचे लौट कर आते हैं अपने घर पर आते हैं तो उसमें लंच बनके जो लंच तैयार करते हैं तो खाने के बाद फिर शाम को उसको पूजा में जाना पड़ता है और शाम को फिर उसका अपने सेल्फ स्टडीज और कुछ रिचुअल्स बुक्स ट्रेनिंग करना पड़ते हैं वो सब ट्रेनिंग करते हैं वो गुरु जी जितने शिष्य हैं रहन सहन खान पान वो सब उसको शिक्षा देते हैं संडे में तो हम लोग जो है मॉर्निंग में केवल एक ही पूजा होता है तो वो पूजा होने के बाद स्कूल तो सारा दिन नहीं होता है तो जैसे बच्चे लोग जो है जंगल में जो है लकड़ी के लिए लकड़ी इकट्ठा करने के लिए चले जाते हैं तो उन लोग लकड़ी इकट्ठा करके करीब बारह बजे तक आ जाते हैं आने के बाद फिर उन लोग लंच बना के और अपना कपड़ा वो धो के फिर शाम को जो है उन लोग को सेल्फ स्टडी करना पड़ता है 
under the control of the monastery. Inside the monastery complex, there is a school which was started in 1977 with the financial help from the government for training of the Lama novices in arithmetic, Buddhist philosophy, English, Hindi, scriptures, and mode of ritual. <laughs> मैं यहाँ हिंदी शिक्षक हूँ सलांग बहुत संस्कृति विद्या केंद्र में मैं बिहार से हूँ वहाँ तो बहुत सारे और बोली बोली जाती है जैसे अंगीका वगैरह लेकिन यहाँ वहाँ के लोग हिंदी इतना अच्छा नहीं बोल पाते हैं जितना यहाँ बोल लेते हैं लोग गांव वाले लोग उन गांव वाले के पेशा यहाँ अच्छा बोल लेता है हिंदी को बहुत ध्यान से लोग पढ़ते हैं अच्छा सीखते हैं अच्छा बोलते हैं अच्छा जानते हैं यहाँ पर मैं टिबेटन लैंग्वेज पढ़ाता हूँ और इसमें हमारा छात्र करीब सेवन फाइव का है और वैसे तो हम पाँच से और छः से सात से कक्षा तक पढ़ाता हूँ तीन का टिबेटन लैंग्वेज पढ़ाता हूँ और हिंदी भी पढ़ा पढ़ाता हूँ हिंदी पढ़ाता हूँ क्लास थ्री फोर फाइव तीन का क्लास हम हिंदी पढ़ाता हूँ और तीन टिबेटन लैंग्वेज पढ़ाता हूँ इसमें करीब वैसे कुल मिला के यहाँ स्टूडेंट का टेन होगा एक सौ पंद्रह का लेकिन उससे ज़्यादा है और सब इसमें सब्जेक्ट होगा कुछ सोशी टिबेटन लैंग्वेज और इंग्लिश हिंदी सोशल साइंस रीड एंड रिटर्न ये सब्जेक्ट हम यहाँ पर आते हैं ड्यूरिंग द एंशंट एंड मेडिवल पीरियड द पीपल ऑफ दिस एरिया वर लीडिंग प्रिमिटिव लाइफ्स एंड द सिस्टम ऑफ फॉर्मल एजुकेशन वॉज लैकिंग कम्प्लीटली to overcome this monasteries were established to impart religious and mythological education by the lamas with the changing times monks life and culture not only revolve around the great monastery their life is also dedicated for the upliftment of society. In Tawab, an orphanage has been opened with the courageous efforts of a lama with the help of the state government and the army officials. I have visited the village of the village, so I have seen that there are many children who are poor, and there are many children who are poor. Like the children who are living there, who are living there, who are living there, who are living there, ना कोई भी केयर लेने वाला नहीं है और लेबर काम कर रहा है तो उसको देख के मुझे बहुत दुख लगा और एक बुद्धिस्ट का भिक्षु का नाते मैं उसको मतलब मेरा मन में ये सोचा कि मैं उसको जरूर एक अनाथ आश्रम जैसे एक बना सकूं तो मैं हम अपना सोचूंगा कि मैं बहुत खुश नसीब हूं और मैं इसके लिए मैं बहुत ट्राई किया जहां तहां से मैं कोशिश किया और मैं आर्मी यहाँ यहाँ का जो है कमांडर है ब्रिगेड कमांडर विक्रम मदन साहब उससे रिक्वेस्ट किया है कि यहाँ का ग्राउंड लेवलिंग और जो जमीन का लेवल करना है उसको मतलब आप जो जो हमको दे सकने तो बहुत अच्छा होगा। We leveled the site for them with army dozers and subsequently I even suggested that we adopt this as an army's institution. Lama said that he needed a purpose in his life. He's a monk and he's a teacher. So he said he has got a piece of land which he can give it in the service of the orphans of Tawang district. And Mr. Sangin Amang then came forward and he said the Tawang district uh, youth welfare organization would also contribute and we will come up with an orphanage. And uh, army's help was sought. So I recommended that you go through my 
seniors, especially the corps commander who has been very benevolent on this, Lieutenant General Bidge. And uh, then I was asked by him to go out of my way to help out this noble cause. And this idea was then accepted and we have totally adopted this manjushri in terms of the entire ration, food to the children is provided by the army on regular basis. Uh, the medical cover is by the army. We also give them clothes. So basically all the needs of the children have been provided for by the army. We had about 90 such applications, out of which we went for the poorest of the poor, orphans who really had no means of sustenance. The capacity of the school at the moment is only 16. That is the lodging department. Or हमारे बच्चे जो जितना हम अभी एडॉप्ट किया है, completely जो है यहाँ का लोकल लिया है और स्ट्रीम बॉर्डर एरिया से जो हम लोग कलेक्ट करके लिया है, जैसे कि मागो, थिंगबू और लुगुदंग वगैरह और आसपास का और जिन्यून जो है वो ऑर्फेनेज है, उसी को हम लोग कलेक्ट किया है और हम ये सोचते हैं कि एक आपना जो कहीं किसी धर्म में जो मतलब एक अनाथ बच्चा को अपना लेना ये यही एक बहुत बड़ा धर्म है और हम यही सोचते हैं कि इसको मतलब आगे बढ़ाने का कोशिश करना चाहिए। The monks put on a sleeveless double-breasted vest with collars reaching below the knee, and over it a similar but shorter one hanging down to the thigh and tightened at the waist with a girdle. A maxi kilt hangs down from the waist almost to the ankle and fastened round the waist with a key chain. On top, they wrap a shawl which is thrown over the left shoulder and passed under the right arm, leaving it bare. <laughs> और गुलिन के ऊपर ये जो बैंड है हैं इसको हम टोंगा बोलते हैं ये जो टोंगा जो है लॉर्ड बुधा के समय में नहीं था ये जो बाद में बनाया गया है तिब्बत में क्योंकि इसलिए बनाया गया है कि तिब्बत में ठंड अधिक है इसलिए वो ठंडे से ठंड से बचने के लिए ये जो दिया गया है और नीचे में जो है पहना गया है इसको हम शंदप बोलते हैं शंदप जो है इसमें जो प्लेन कपड़ा है उसको हम काट कर काट के और इसको तीन तरह से इसको सिलाई होना चाहिए तरफ जहाँ सिलाई है और नीचे में दो तरह की सिलाई है तरह होना चाहिए और सिलाई करके जाके एक बाउंड्री देना पड़ता है और यहाँ भी बाउंड्री देना पड़ता है इसके बाद ये जो है बेड पे बांधे जाते हैं ये जो है कपड़ा जो है लॉट बुधा के समय में ही था ये ऊपर वाला जो है हम लोग बाद में बनाए गए इसके ऊपर हम लोग फिर एक ये जो ये कपड़ा जो है ये भी जो सेम है जैसे हंगा बोलते हैं इसके जैसे हम ऊपर में इस तरह के लिए जाते हैं इसमें भी तीन टुकड़े के कपड़ा होना चाहिए जो काट होना चाहिए इस तरह से पहने जाते हैं ये ये भी एक ठंड के समय ठंड से बचाने के लिए जो है कपड़ा है मंक्स जनरली एंगेज देम्सेल्स इन मेडिटेशन मेडिटेशन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स साम एंड रितोरी some is done in a temple in or near a village and where other monks also stay. And Ritorith in a secluded hermitage on a hillock or in a cave far away from human habitation. meditation lives mainly on rice flour and tea flavored with a good measure of butter. He has occasionally a curry of green leafy vegetables. Such monks are known as Sampa and are held in higher esteem. As high as the mountain peaks in the region, the Monpas have the respect, honor and faith for their religion, monastery and the monks. 
For Montas, the monastery is a guardian angel of the tribe. Thank you. 